Hey everybody, this is John from How to Make Money TV. Today we're going to go over 66 ways that you can make money starting tomorrow when you wake up. So we're going to start with number one. Number one, be a nude model. If you've never done it before, now's a great time to try it. In fact, it's probably the best time you'll ever have to try it. A couple of great places, you can go to schoolofvisualarts.edu. You can get signed up. They will sign you right up for uh, your first canvassing. Number two, provide customer service. You can dial 972-964-4800 and go to workingsolutions.com and it will give you a, uh, a number that they can actually dial in and they can call you while you're at your house and they pay anywhere from $7.20 an hour to $30 an hour for you to provide customer service. You can't beat that. Number three, we've all done it, babysit. You can get it all the way up to as much as $35 an hour, believe it or not. And there's a lot of people who can't find good babysitters. So if you're looking to get a babysitter, um, now's the time to uh, pick up the pipe and uh, start uh, swinging it like you're, uh, you're mean in business in the babysitting department. That came out kind of wrong. <laughs> anyway, scratch the pipe part. All right, so number four, become a social media guru. If you know anything about the Internet, if you know anything about how to build a website, Contact your friends. Say, look, you know what? Here's the deal. I can build you a website. Look around for people who need uh, your expertise in the field of search engine optimization, website building. Is their business slow? Can you help them out? It's a great time to use that skill. Number five is a cater waiter. Waiting tables at a restaurant uh, and scouring for tips, dinner parties. Uh, you can actually just rent yourself out anywhere from $17 to $35 an hour. You can go to Premier Model Bartenders, and it's actually modelbartenders.com is the website. Number six, dog or cat sit. Oh, yeah, okay, like we couldn't figure that one out. Well, here's the deal. That one will make you anywhere from $10 to $20 a day on cat watching, and doggy daycares can fetch up to $25 to $30 a day. So, you know, hey, go for it. Number seven, my favorite, well, not really, but it is kind of fun, is to be a phone sex operator. Yeah, well, you know what? You're sitting in your underwear and you're talking on your phone or you're sitting on the Internet at TV. Go for it. What the heck? Uh, all it takes is a good-looking skirt, a hot design program, and, and some uh, iron transfer paper. That's the wrong one. I'm reading the one down below of it. But you can go to phonesexprofessionals.com. That's it, phonesexprofessionals.com. Foreign accents are in demand, so let the company know if you do or have a good one. They could use somebody like you at the other end of the phone. Okay, number eight, sell band t-shirts. All it takes is to make a good-looking desktop design. You can iron them on, sell them online, eight, go to a show, sell them for eight bucks a pop while you're standing outside the door. Number nine, hawk other people's stuff on eBay. If you know how to use eBay, utilize eBay. You have, you have friends that have stuff sitting around the house and uh, they need to sell it, call them up. Hey, look, I'll list it for you. Give them 15% of the listing fee and you are good to go. You help them, you make some money. If you know how to do it, then you're going to be right on, the, right on the ball. Number 10, assemble IKEA furniture. Yeah, that's what I just said, assemble. Urban Express Assembly, it's a company that works... Uh, it works like the IKEA of Brooklyn, the company that works like IKEA Brooklyn offers furniture assembly and you can make up to about $30. Uh, let's see, you should be able to un unbridge and big box, blah, 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 pass out flyers. You're looking at 30 bucks a pop. Number 11, use Amazon's technical mechanical Turk. I don't know what this is, to be frankly honest. Uh, named after an 18th century chess playing device, this service, it's mturk.com, lets companies pay people to do simple tasks like judging if two items in a search engine are the same or coding a subject category for different kind of websites. Uh, each listing has a reward. You can make anywhere from a penny to $5, um, and it'll go right into your bank account. Number 12, put your hobbies to use. Uh, your mom your mom may get them for free. Some New Yorkers could pay you good money for your hand soap, your popsicle stick puppets, anything. You know, my wife makes handbags, and she sells them for about $75 a whack, and they're, they're pretty nice. I mean, you can't buy them in a store. They're personal, and, uh, you know, if you've got a creative outlet that you can do that you can make some extra money, do it. Sell it, you know. Call your friends. Throw, throw, throw a bag party, you know. Throw a, throw a soap party. There's a million different ways. Um, Thirteen, my favorite, scalp tickets. 
got a lot of favorites. Thirteen scalp tickets. You don't even need to do that uh, outside the place anymore. You can st you can go to StubHub and hawk your own tickets right off of StubHub, and you'll get eighty five percent of the total sales. StubHub.com. Fourteen. Help people move. Yes, we know we don't want to ever do that, and we all do it for a pizza, but you know what? You can charge $40 an hour for your time, and you can go to citymove.com, C-I-T-I move.com, and you can make 40 bucks an hour. So if you're sitting on your keister tomorrow looking for unemployment, call City Move, and they'll get you set up so you can go move somebody else um, who's probably in foreclosure. So keep moving. Uh, let's see. We are already down to 15. Bartend for parties. If you can make a mean moho, dude, whip it up, get rolling, but bartend yourself out. Uh, you can go any. You can go to uh, the New York Bartending School uh, if you're in the New York area. I'm not. I'm on the West Coast. NewYorkBartendingSchool.com, which offers a 40-hour, $695 course that ends with a state certification and job placement. There's probably a million of them that are all over the entire United States that you can probably call for Bartending Academy, get a quick, easy entry job, and let's face it. A lot of people are probably drinking, especially in this economy. 16, pass out flyers. Once again, Craigslist, NewYorkCraigslist.com is the place to go. Search for the term flyers, street team, and promotion. Some companies have paid up to $200 a month, while others offer around $12 an hour, plus bonuses. So there's a spot. You can go to your local Craigslist. Let's look, look under flyers, street team, and promotion. And let's see, number 17, Get paid to be a consumer. You like to buy things, and companies would like to kill to know why you would like to buy that thing. You can go to findfocusgroups.com, and let's see, it ranges in anywhere from $15 an hour to more than $300 for an in-depth study. As a rule of thumb, look for companies you've heard of, and don't give your Social Security number or bank account number out. I can't, that's, don't do that anytime. Um, for laser, lazier folks who don't want to leave the house, your best bet is online surveys. And you can sign up for a lot of different online surveys. That'll pay you 5 10 bucks just for sitting there while you're sitting on your keister watching Maury Povich, and they'll send a you know check to your bank. So surveys, great, great deal. 18, tutor for standardized tests. Um, you can actually go to captest.com, and they will pay you anywhere from $20 an hour uh, the Princeton Review, you can go to PrincetonReview.com. I'll list all of these on the website here so you can go to them. Um, anywhere from 20 bucks an hour, $25 an hour. And there's also one called Manhattan, ManhattanGat.com. I'll, I'll list all of these for you. Uh, that's number 18. We're going to cruise on to number 19 here. Number 19, sell your unwanted books. Yeah, it's probably kind of a pain in the butt. I've done it myself. But you can make a few dollars. The, the shipping's really tough. It's very competitive. Probably not one of my biggest things that I'd spend my time on. But if you're a book person, you know, you know how uh, you know you can sell them on Amazon. Number twenty, clean apartments. Believe it or not, I started my company when I was in my twenties, uh, cleaning apartment moveouts. I'd go for the f I'd go through the For Rent magazine and I would sit there and clean apartment move as I'd get all I'd get the for rent magazine of all the the Portland metro area and I would go through find all the property management companies and I would call them and say you know what I'm a college student I'm looking for work uh, you know I'd charge forty five dollars for a studio fifty five for a one bedroom sixty five for a two and then if it was larger than that you know it was like seventy five bucks that was back then the prices really haven't changed that much so that's kind of a fair scale and you supply your own products so you're not going to get loaded but you can make some money, and the turnover is really high. Um, and let's see, number twenty-one, have a stoop sale. Stay on stay on private property. Um, you can basically do your own, you know, garage sale, so to speak. Um, stoop sale. If you live in Brooklyn, you know, most of this seems to be coming out of Brooklyn. Do a stoop sale. You can make up to eight hundred dollars in a weekend. Basically, go buy stuff at thrift stores, pull them into your house, and sell them. I think there are legalities that you can, you know, only do so many a month. And then number 22, consignment shops, sell clothes. Go to a used clothes store and buy clothes and then resell them on eBay. Great way to make money. Um, that's number 22. You can actually go to beaconcloset.com. It's B-E-A-C-O-N, beaconscloset.com, B-E-A-C-O-N-S, closet.com. And they will buy your clothes. You can actually sell your clothes. Um, 10 to 20 bucks for a cashmere sweater, Marc Jacobs sweater. 
Um, check it out. Number 23, organize other people's closets. Seriously? Organize other people's closets. If somebody's sitting, you know, if you got a neighbor who's a busy wife, can't do anything, I mean, I don't know if I'd want somebody going in my closet, to be honest with you, but you can go for it. Number 24, refinish street furniture. A little sanding, bright coat of paint, curbside. You can find yourself with lustworthy vintage items. You can go to brooklynflea.com. Eric founder is uh, the, the guy, Eric Demby, has a soft spot for people who refurbish old items. And uh, you can refurbish stuff and sell it on Craigslist. Number 25, write other people's online dating profiles. Now, that one's kind of funny. So you could sit down with these people and get a different perspective of them, I suppose. It's kind of a little bit out there, but let's go with it. You can go to ProfileHelper.com. It interviews clueless daters and charges them $50 to $100 to revamp their dating profiles. Clever up your Facebook page, advertise your prowess, blah, blah, blah. Uh, charge $30 a pop and tell your sex successful clients to pass the word along. So you can make some good money doing that. Um, busk in the subway. I don't, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what this term is. Um, maybe you New Yorkers do. Um, busk in the subway, you can go to mta.info slash mta aft. I'll put all these up for you. Um, basically, you can still legally perform acoustic renditions of the circus in the subway. So if you want to get outside and be a street musician, I guess that's what that is, you can do that as well. Um, you know, my brother does that. He does it all over the world with his guitar, and he actually makes money. So it's not totally far-fetched. He's a little loony, but he makes some money. Um, number 27, play online poker. Now, I'm not advising this if you're a poker junkie. So anything that I say, you're on your own here. There, I have no affiliation. I'm just reading this stuff. So uh, 27, um, Play online poker. You can go to pokerroom.com, and uh, some people have made up to $65,000 playing poker. If you're a great poker player, you're on your own here. I don't advise it, but if you can do it, go for it. Uh, number 28, set up a chair. Set up a chair and offer a five-minute massage in the subway on a platform. And you're on your own with that one. Number 29. As we go down the list, save others from administrative hell. Outsourcing is the name of the game in today's business world. You can go to solvate.com, S-O-L-V-A-T-E.com, and become a talent member. You name, your target, name your target rate. Think $20 to $100 an hour, depending on your skill level, and lend your services as an accountant, designer, visual, virtual assistant, writer, bookkeeper, or techie. So you can outsource yourself. Number 30. And I'm gonna. This will be the last one for today. Uh, we've still got a few a little ways to go, but tomorrow I'll, I'll do 31 through 66. Um, what am I at? Hit up a casino. Take Greyhound's Lucky Bus to the Mohegan Sunday. Mohegan Sun. M O H E G A N Sun dot com. Thirty dollar round trip, and you'll get you'll get there. You'll get three five bet vouchers. Uh, you know what? Scratch that one. I'm not even digging on that one. We'll throw throw 31 in there. Personally assist someone. Running errands, answering phones, walking someone's pet iguana, personal assistant, do whatever random task that you can. You can go to the Pavilion Agency, uh, which is, again, in New York. Uh, it's pavilionagency.com, and they charge anywhere from $20 to $100 an hour. That's 31, that's 30 things that I just gave you that you can start tomorrow looking at, and, uh, and I'm just going to keep adding stuff here on a daily basis. So uh, check back with me. I'm John. Let's see if we can't get you to where you need to go. Bye.